Okay, Chad, you can tell by the epic, epic music that we're gonna play something epic. I don't know if it's epic or not. Um, so I think it was Seltar. It could have been wrong. Someone in chat suggested this game and we looked at it. I had it on my notes on the iPhone. And I said, today's the day. We're done with Lords of the Fallen. We're playing Star Wars Unleashed, Force Unleashed at night. Let's try this thing. This is an isometric action adventure RPG. Um, it doesn't have the greatest of ratings. It's got like uh, Mr. Pippity Poverty in the house. It's got like uh, six and a half, seven and a half out of ten. So it may not be the most amazing game. I don't know, but it might be fun. So, you know, it's the time is ripe to play something new and try something new. Apple Tree's going to be super annoyed because it's not, uh, not, um, what, what's the game he's always wanting me to play? Uh, oh, what's it called? It's, uh, Source? No, what's it called, chat? The, uh, Mechanical Surge 2. It's not Surge 2. <laughs> not going to be too long before you go to bed. You're proper fucked. Worked until 7 p.m. last night. Didn't get home until 8 p.m. And was back at work at 4.30 a.m. Shit! Sorry to hear that, Salem. So can put the put the stream on in the background and slurk to us. This might this might be a fun game or it might be a good one to go to sleep to. I have no idea. We'll check it out. Sakuna of Rice. No, uh, Surge too. He's been it's his new it's his new meme. It's his sorry, it's his new it's his new troll when he comes into chat. Something, 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 not as good as Surge too. Something, something, when are you gonna hit Surge 2? Something, something, is this Surge 2? This doesn't look like Surge 2. That's Apple Tree's new gimmick. <laughs> um, you said you liked Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. You took Apple's advice on that one. I took Apple's advice on James Pod Robocod, but I think, I think that that's a legit fun game, but I think that I might have outgrown that. I might be a bit too old for that style of game. It was a little bit hyper sort of kitty sort of i think it would have made it made a good game in the arcade you know when my when i was barely tall enough to see the screen but i mean it was hard enough it was it's it killed the shit out of me i didn't play it for super long i think apple likes surge we should definitely do sir we should definitely play through those even if they're like even if they're not the greatest they would they're still action rpgs they, they need to be they need to be checked off the list then I'm sure we can have some fun with the bosses. I'm sure I can die a lot for your entertainment pleasure um, in those games, right? And that's what it's all about. It's just hanging with chat, coming up with ideas and builds and fighting bosses. Talking about fighting bosses. Oh, my God. Last night. Last night. Um, the, I'm enjoying The Force Unleashed. It's fun. For the, for the years that it came out, 2008, and for the consoles that it came out on, and for the concept, it was probably until the Jedi Survivor and Jedi Fallen Order games came out, it was probably the best Star Wars game. Unless you, unless you include, uh, I know, I know that's gonna ruffle some feathers because there's those uh, LOTR. What are they called? Not LOTR. You know the ones I mean. The, the sort of the more RPG, sort of the more um, um, uh, Mass Effect style games, the Star Wars Mass Effect style games. Um, there's those ones as well that are supposed to be remastering, right? At some point. But it's fun. I'm enjoying it. But that boss last night, CTE saved the day. We spent three hours beating a boss that was super hard to get any damage on. Like, you literally couldn't. Like, there would be times when you'd hit it and it would do four bars of damage. And times that you'd hit it four or five times in a row and it did no damage. And it was wrecking me with these quick shot blasts. It, could, it just goes like that and it gives you a quick shot blast and a quarter of your life goes away. And it could do it at any time. You, you could do a hit and a dodge and he goes that and... So it was a really frustrating fight. Not a super fair fight, but more of a gimmicky fight, I guess. But CTE had the answer. Level up electricity and zap the guy down. And that's exactly what we did, and that's, and that's exactly what we needed to save the day. So then, of course, I leveled up my electricity, got into the next area. We beat another boss in the next area. I tried the, and of course, that boss was immune to electricity. So we had to, we meleeed that boss out. But um, still fun. Star Killer's running around at night, doing his thing. As, as Darth Vader's apprentice, um, but a good time. And uh, today I was thinking, what are we gonna play? And then I looked at my phone and I saw that, um, who was it? Let me look, see who was. Did I write down the name of the person that suggested this game? I thought it was Seltar, but I could be wrong on that. No, it wasn't, it was Ripping Reaper. 
It was Ripping Reaper. I am wrong. It was Ripping Reaper suggested this. And Shockwave suggests Bread and Fred as a co-op playthrough, um, which would also be a fun time. Uh, which will happen. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to think what I'm going to do, not yet, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back um, Fun Fridays, but it won't be every Friday. I think what I'm going to do is um, it's going to be like uh, put your reservation in Fun Fridays. So like if somebody wants to play a co-op game, we'll keep Fridays available for it. So maybe I can talk Shockwave into coming back to finish off Resident Evil 5. I don't know if I can. Maybe I can. Um, I still have another game as well called um, uh, um, Obscure 2 that I want to play. What are fun Fridays? What we used to do, Fearless, was every Friday we would do like multiplayer games. We'd all get together and just play multiplayer stuff. And we did that for quite a while. The problem was um, uh, because of my working schedule and things that I had going on, um, Fridays were a tough day for really tough day for me because it was like one of my busiest days at work back in the day and so it was a hard to organize and do fun fridays and then we didn't always have participation we didn't always have people that wanted they liked fun fridays they liked to watch fun fridays but they didn't want to play in fun fridays so i had a struggle getting people to come on to discord or play games together with us which is where the uh says he's a variety streamer doesn't play drawful meme comes from because I tried to get a game of Drawful going and nobody wanted to play it, so we couldn't play it one day. So it became a struggle getting participation. So I do like doing multiplayer, and I know people want to do some multiplayer stuff. Apple, I'm sure, will do some shooters, get Shockwave in on some of the stuff that we were working on before, and maybe some other games. But I think what I'll do is, and even suggest Shockwave just suggested that Bread and Fred, which looks like a fun co-op game. I think what I'll do um, down the road is do like, uh, we'll do Fun Fridays, but it won't, it's not necessarily every Friday if we've got something planned like if I've got somebody who wants to like if, let's say Apple wants to do PUBG or something on a Friday um, I'll say okay be there be square and we'll we'll plan it and we'll do it and we'll have it if there's nothing planned in a particular week we'll just go on with the regular streaming broadcasts that way we're not like kind of because sometimes what happens is people want to play something on the Friday, it lasts for like a half hour. The stream is like four to six hours, or used to be up to six hours on the Fridays. And then nobody else wants to play anything else after that. So we're kind of like floundering, right? So um, to avoid that from happening, we'll do like a, sort of like on a, on a on a reservation style basis. We'll have, if we have something planned, we'll do it. I think that's what I'm gonna do down the road with the fun Fridays. And we'll bring that back. Um, Cause I'm sure there will be things. I've been inspired by Pippity Poverty and uh atlas doing their participation their co-op elden ring action um to bring something back like that right then some people suggested remnant 2 would be a perfect game apparently remnant 2 is really good and you can play it solo but it would be a fun co-op experience too so that'd be something i find somebody who wants to go the distance on that or something right or maybe we can switch up people on that. i don't know how exactly how we could do that but it would have probably have to be one person the way through because of their character and their leveling right but yeah, so something like that. But today, today, I thought we'd check this out. This was Ripping Reaper. I thought it was Celtar. It's Ripping Reaper suggested we check this game out. This came out last year in November. It's not super popular on Twitch at all, which tells me that uh, um, it's probably not the greatest game. <laughs> we may not. We What we're going to do is, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to check it out. We're going to give it a good college try and look at it and see what we think of it. And if we're enjoying it, we'll keep playing it. It's about a 14 to 15 hour playthrough. So that would be like four streams. Something like, like say 16 hour playthrough. That's like four streams-ish. Um, it might be decent. Yeah, probably. We'll, we'll see, Terrell. We'll see. We'll check it out, right? Um, and uh, of course, I have Dark Souls Remastered uh, as a backup because there's lots of bosses to practice. Ornstein and Smo. <coughs> we can always jump into some of that. Um, and uh, other things too, right? So, but let's give this a call. Let's try. Let's see what it's like. Um, the member of a member of, com of the community, Rip and Reaper, suggested it, so I want to honor those uh, suggestions when I can. And this is the window. This is we're done, Lords of the Fallen. This is the window. So without further ado, I bring you Achilles Legends Untold. You ready? You and I looking at this for the first time, unless you've played this or you've been watching a stream of this. 
Uh, what I said, Pip, about Fun Fridays is instead of doing a guaranteed Fun Friday every Friday, I'm going to do planned Fun Fridays because we, we had a lot of trouble getting people to participate. A lot of people like to watch Fun Friday, but they don't like playing in Fun Fridays. So it was always a struggle to get multiplayer. When, hence, the Drawful meme came up, right? Because nobody wanted to play. So we tried another game. Nobody wanted to play. So like, like you do with Atlas, if we have somebody that wants to do a co-op thing, I know Shockwave suggested Bread and Fred, and we still got a Resi 5 to do, and other people have games, I'm sure... Uh, Apple Tree will be up for some some um, multiplayer shooter action and stuff like that. If we have something that we know in advance and we know the people are going to be there, I'll have a backup game. So if whoever it is is not around that day, we'll do a regular stream of something. And if we've got something organized, then we'll do a, a multiplayer of that. You know what I'm saying? Hi, Celta. How are you? As opposed to saying, oh, we're just going to do... Everybody's going to participate this Friday and play multiplayer stuff. And then there's like really not really anybody... Wanted. Lots of people like to watch, but not a lot like to get their voice on Discord and get on their computers and play because maybe they're not available or able to do so. So it, it was always kind of a hit and miss kind of a thing, right? But if we have planned stuff, inspired by you and Atlas, if we have planned stuff, right? I think you guys got a little sick of it just being me and Ko doing Dark Souls 3 because it was really only Ko that was hot to trot on the Fridays a lot most of the time. You're always available after work. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Achilles, Legends Untold. I've got my death counter at zero. Music is good. So this is kind of an isometric third person action RPG. A little bit like Diablo kind of-esque, I guess. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Um, settings. Graphics. That's good. That's good. Unless I can get window. There we go. V sync on or off. Turn it off. See if we can run. Nah, put it on because I'm streaming. Motion blur off. Yes, that's good. Okay, back. Audio. Is it? Is it? It's a bit loud, right? It's a bit loud, right? How about I put this at 100? That's better, right? For music? I think it's just the music that's loud, right? How's that for music there? Is that good there or is that too soft? That's bouncing at about half my bar and it's giving me about 20 decibels above for my voice. Sound okay there? We'll try it there. We'll try it there. Let me know. Do not be shy, chat. Please. Please. Be aggressive. If if the sound isn't right, let me know. You're not going to upset me. I would prefer to know than to do an entire stream and then look at the VOD and find out that you can't even hear me or you can't hear the music. I would prefer to know. All right? All right. Um, there was nothing for subtitles. Game? Language English. There's no subtitle thing. Hopefully they're automatic. All right. All right, new game. New save. Story, adventure, challenge, and Achilles must die. <laughs> Let's just leave it on adventure. The gameplay will not be too difficult, but it can be challenging for, oh, maybe we should go to challenge. Gameplay will be difficult for most players, recommended for those who like a challenge. Greater amount of enemies, normal enemy aggression, normal resistance, normal player reaction. Archers pose a threat, normal speed of player attacks. Everything seems normal except for there's more enemies. Should we try challenge? Let's try challenge. We'll try challenge, chat. Fear is like an unpredictable sea. At times, you can tame it. Achilles must die, Yet yeah. other times... What if the game sucks it leads and you I'm right into there? the heart of the storm. Helen, the wife of the king of Sparta, Menelaus, was kidnapped. The princes of Troy, who violated the sacred principle of hospitality, are at fault. The storm they unleashed was soon to sweep through the whole of Greece. With wind in their sails, to the beat of the war drums, the sons of Greece set sail, then hungry for justice and there. glory. <laughs> ready to restore honor and to punish the bold Trojans. 
and among them Achilles, a fearless warrior whose mere presence filled hearts with courage. Achilles! A hero of a hundred battles. Save Helen! But this time, even he did not believe in an easy victory. The Trojans made sure of that. A fiery blaze illuminated the night sky, bringing death and destruction. Fear looked the Greeks in the eyes. Trapped in the unrelenting grip of the elements, they had to overcome their fright. Suddenly, one of the boats broke free from the hellish tomb. Achilles, with Myrmidons at his side, fought his way to the shore. If only he could recapture Helen, the war would be at its end. At least, that's what he still believed back then. We're going to fight the filthy Trojans, chat, and get Helen back. They stole her. Filthy Trojans. Myrmidons, my brothers in arms, we did not fight through the storm and flames to perish in this wretched sun. We have come here to win, and we shall win when we recapture Helen from the enemy's grasp. Many armies have fallen before these walls. I'm not so sure about Look the voice for acting. Weak point <laughs> that is how we shall try to get inside. Cast away your fear and fight bravely. And when I the battle starts, bravely, settle, the glory of true heroes shall await you. To Troy! <laughs> I didn't know Achilles had a lisp. I didn't know Achilles had a lisp. He, that was not very inspiring. <laughs> I was expecting a deep. Brutal voice. I was expecting. What's the guy from Gladiator? I was expecting uh, the Australian guy, Russell Crowe from Gladiator. Okay, so it only uses my left stick. The beaches of Troy. How do I run? Press the stick in? No. I'm sure this is tutorial. They'll teach us. I need to get to Troy and rescue Helen. That is the only way to end this war quickly. End this war quickly. Filth. We gotta fight the filthy Trojans. You downloaded the new Prince of Persia demo. Oh, there's a demo? It's fun to you. I just hate that you cannot save your progress. Really? You can't save? They don't let you save? So you have to do... How long is the demo? Is it like a one-hour demo? So if you get killed, you have to start the demo over? Okay. I'm just gonna wait until they teach me something, chat. I'm just I'll gonna... fight you until the end. Ah. Use target lock to always face an enemy. It will make okay. That's Dark Souls target lock. Got it. Okay. Now, how, oh, hey! how do I fight him though? I'm gonna assume it's Dark Souls. It is. Some of that, bitch. We killed our. <laughs> we killed our first filthy Trojan. I am Achilles, and I am on a mission to kill more filthy Trojans. Barbarians. Bastard, come here. You'll oh. pay for this. How do I how do I block? Ah, I got it. I got it. I got a block, Jack. Can I parry? I don't know if I, oh, shit. I don't know if I have a parry. I got a kick. Kick him in the balls. Too fast. Oh god! How do I dodge? Oh there's oh I got dodge. I got dodge, okay. Coming in. I have a charge attack. I have a. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's a charge attack. I think it's just the same attack. Doesn't look charged. I won't let you pass. Come here, bitch. You want to go? Nice moves. I got those moves too. Look. Get kicked. Nice. Use healing potions to restore some of your health. You can have up to four selected items always at hand. Press the appropriate button to, to set them as needed, to use them as needed. Remember, their number is limited. Press the menu button to assign them to the appropriate slots. Menu button. Here's my character chat. We're wearing the Myrmidon's armor. Armor protection. So I've got I'm level 1, 15, 10, and 10. Dark and divine. Armor protection. Dark and divine armor protection. So dark must be against magic or something? Divine against like religious attacks? Holy attacks? Miracle attacks? Is this this game? Uh is it on consoles? I don't know. It came out. This was this is a game suggested we check out by Ripping Reaper. Uh Metacritic gives it like a six and a half. <laughs> the reviews say it's okay. It's like got it's got like an okay rating. It's about a 16 hour playthrough. Uh Ripping Reaper suggested we check it out. Um, I know it's on PC. You can get it for a good 
uh, it's also, no, wait, you can get it for a good price on like CD keys. I think that's where I got it for like a good price, a Steam key. It might be on consoles. It came out November of 23. So not too old. Um, and we're just, we're just going to check it out and see what it's like. They gave me eight healing potions. I've got the soldier's sword. So you've got little diamonds on those so you can level those up. Um, all right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Tutorials. There's my map. Very simple map. My tutorials. Combat basics. Grab your sword and attack. So it's like strong, quick and strong. That's it. No charge. Target lock we know. Block with the left bumper and the item belt. So, okay. So that's everything. So there's no parry. There's only block with your shield. Story. Battle of Troy. Can I read it? Towards the walls. We barely managed to get to the shore. Troy is well prepared for our arrival. I need to get closer to the city to get my bearings. I like the way the menus and stuff are laid out. It's, it's got a kind of a Diablo feel, right? Is it Diablo I'm thinking of? What's the one that just came out? Is it Diablo 3? What's the game that just came out? It's got kind of that look and feel about it. It's all this. I like my kick. Too fast. Not yet. Oh, it's got a cooldown? Too fast. Where do I know it's ready? When do I know it's ready? Oh, I see. There it is. The diamond has to go back up. All right. So I do have a devastating kick, chat. What's this? Items. Another health potion. Oh, I can only max... I max out at eight. So far, so good, right? So far, so good. We'll see how it progresses. We got to get attached to our character. This is why I like single player instead of juggling a bunch of characters because I when I juggle a bunch of characters I feel like I'm a manager of a grocery store and everybody's got to have their badge their name and their uniform and I've got to make sure that the scheduling is right and everybody's in the right position doing their doing their jobs when I play one single player character I can invest myself in the one character I can become that character and we can kind of role play and have fun it's it's more immersive for me all right sprint here we go run B hold B okay we got run now Ah, these are the walls that hold Helen. If I could attract the Trojans' attention, it would give my men time to find a passage inside. I will challenge their commander. And if he is in his right mind, maybe I could convince him to give up Helen. I just need to get to the gate. He doesn't sound very like Greek commander, does he? He sounds more like European developer. <laughs> All right. Um, so what we're going to do here is probably have a tutorial boss fight, right? Dodge, so B dodge, and then B dodging while dodging roll. So you can dodge roll. Got it. Dodge, dodge, dodge roll. Got it. Oh shit! Dodge roll away. Dodge roll. I'm gonna kick this guy right in the balls. I'm gonna kick this guy right in the balls for you. Oh, get ball kicked. Alright, let's go. I'll fight you until the end. Till the end? Your end is coming. Oh, how do I block? Oh, there it is. Try that again. I'm learning. God damn it. Try that again. I dare you. There you go. Blocked. Get kicked. Get kicked again. Okay. Oh, I can't double kick. Too fast. Okay, let me try a dodge. How quick is the dodge compared to their swing? Dodge. Didn't work. Dodge is a bit janky. Try it again. Dodge. Okay, there we go. All right. My kick has a huge hitbox. Did you notice that? I kicked him when I was standing back from him, and it hit him. I might take advantage of that. That might be some cheese. What do we got? Another health button. I like the fact that I don't have to press any buttons. I just go up to the to the loot, and it triggers. What's this? Oh, there's a ladder here. Two Rolandus Core Wizard says less dodging, more parrying. They don't have a parry, Terrell. There's no parry. There's only block with the shield. There's just this, unless I can time it. That's all they got is this. And it, I don't think it, I think it just says block, doesn't it? In the tutorial. I want to parry, but I don't think they have it. Just block. Raise your shield and protect you from the strike. Remember the blocking makes your energy regenerate more slowly, and every hit is an additional strain. If you lose all of your energy while blocking, you'll be thrown off balance and made vulnerable to attacks. Block efficiently depends on equipment stats. Blocking with weapons is possible, but not very effective. Just hold for block. There's no parry. What the shit? You get a parry later. Ah, okay. How are you, Dr. Chuck, man? Nice to see you. Cheers. 
Are Achilles Legends refunded? Oh my god! <laughs> What's down here? Is that a kitty cat? Is that a kitty cat? Salem's look like a kitty cat. Is this like character development? Achilles is a softy, secret softy. In the dark of night, before he kills the boss, before he kills a human being, he pets a cat. I'm going in the sneaky way. I found a back entrance. I can hear all my men fighting. Aren't I supposed to be leading my men? Isn't it me supposed to be in the front of my men and my men finding the sneaky way in? Here we go. Devastating attacks. These attacks cannot be blocked with a shield. Use dodge or roll to get out of the way. Thankfully, they are indicated with a special mark. Okay. I'm probably going to use dodge for everything. If there's no parry... That way I don't even have to worry about special attacks. I'll use the block in cases of emergency because it takes away my stamina as well, right? So might as well just roll. That takes stamina. And then that way I don't have to like think about these, these devastating attacks until they hit me in the face. Oh, this is the boss fight right here, I think. Yeah. Bitch, you want to go? You must be a fool to come here alone. Is it death you seek, Achilles? Or maybe you want to beg for mercy. Hector, I suggest Hector. an honest duel. The victor shall decide Helen's fate and put this war to an end. Helen is under Paris's protection. Are you and your brother ready to sacrifice the lives of your men for her? When the rest of the fleet gets here, hundreds will die on both sides. Why must anyone else die? When the commanders can put an end to further <laughs> voice acting is a little jarring. You seek an honorable solution, but there is nothing honorable about war. It's messy and brutal, and history is written by the victors. All I see Archers, are like developers sitting in front of microphones with like scripts in their hands. Okay, here we go. Oh, lock on. Oh, that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Archers. Archers. Bring it on! You're cheating. How do I get past that? How do I get past your big hit? I gotta get behind you. I gotta I bait you and then get in there. So I'm gonna roll by and hit. So that bitch. Get kicked. Oh, the kick is devastating, Chet. Kick is good. Uh. 188. Kick. The kick is good. How am I dead? How am I dead? Really? I saw the green line. Oh, the green line isn't my health. Oops. That's my stamina. I was looking at the green line thinking, oh, I'm fine. I don't need to heal. That's my stamina. Oops. Where's my health at? It's down at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Oops. Just, let's try it again. I was looking at the wrong indicator. All right, let's go back in. I can, my kick is wrecking this guy. What? Oh, it's a fog wall? That's cool. Hector, the bravest Archer! of the Trojans. Ugh. Kick him. Get kicked. Hit him hard. Oh. Hit him hard. Kick him. Oh, I can't kick him yet. Too fast. A moment longer. How's my health? My health's alright. Damn it. 
I keep thinking that's my uh, my attack button because of. I, I said I said filthy Mongols. Now I'm thinking filthy Trojans, and I'm pressing X for attack, which is kick. Kick him in the ass. Ah, get out. Okay, I need to heal, right? No, I'm still half health. Still good. Should probably just single dodge because it's taking me too long to get back to him. <laughs> the kick, though. A moment longer. I love the kick. Okay, you know what happens if I block? Archer! Okay, that knocks me right in my head. Blocking sucks. Okay, that's an unblockable. I shouldn't have done that. I should heal. Oh! It's hard to get back to him. The motion is slow to get back to the fight. Archer! There we go. Fate is in your hands. So we can kill him or let him live. Kill him, of course. We're gonna. It's an all-kill play through chat. There's no mercy. There's no mercy for the filthy Trojans. You are right, Prince Hector. History is indeed written by the victors, but your death was not in vain. It will help end this hopeless. Parrying world. keeps you closer. Yeah, that's what we need. We need that parry because one of the problems is Hopefully when I. this fight bought my men some time. I need to know whether they managed to find entry into the city. When I do the dodge and the roll, I'm too far away. I have to run back to him. He's already turned around and got his shield up again, so it's hard to get the hits on him because I'm separated too far. The pairing would definitely be a nice addition. So we get that later, yeah? Now where am I going? It says go up here. The gate will not budge. Surely I won't get inside this way. It says go this way, doesn't it? So I can't go this way? What's this? Okay, so it looks like I gotta go this way. Kick it down with my kick, right? Nope. Too fast. I don't understand. They're, they're telling me to go here, right? The dotted line says go here. Find a way to enter Troy. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh <laughs> That's the problem I have with isometrics. It looks like it was covered. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Go. <laughs> Bitch. Don't do that again. Try that again. Too fast. <laughs> I didn't realize I could run around it. I thought it went all the way to the rocks. <laughs> okay, I got it. I'll be all right, chat. What's this? Is that one of my men? Commander! Yeah, you can't block the red See, ones, yeah. Not far from here. In their it's like Lies of P with the red attack. Actually, you know it isn't. Unless the parry unless you can parry them. Away into the city, not far from here in a rock cleft. That son of a bitch ambush. Shall save thousands. After the battle, we will raise our cups in your name. We will raise our cups in your name. Now die. Rest in peace, soldier. Rest in peace. Your deeds shall never be forgotten. I'm going this way. Can I swim? I'm scared to go in the water in case I just insta die. But it's telling oh no, it's telling me to go no, it's telling me to go in the water. I think I found the passage. This will have to do. The defenders prepared for a frontal attack. But they did not consider this narrow passage. An entire army would not be able to get through. But a small unit could slip through and divert attention. Okay, city of Troy. Alright, I'm in. 
have to find the way to the other city. That's what I should find. 